Hello everybody, my name is uh, Marcel Kuhn. I'm coming uh, to the UK all the way from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm the producer for FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. The community always plays a big role for FUT, always has and always will be, um, because they're actually fueling the mode and making it so vibrant and, and uh, change frequently. So there's a couple of features that they really wanted and they're very vocal about adding for, for uh, FUT 14. Uh, so the first thing we did is a single online game. Um, why is single online game or match so important for them? Uh, within uh, tournaments or seasons, the games are very competitive um, because there's a reward at the end. Um, in single online match, you can just try out new players you found on the transfer market or, or in a pack uh, or new formations you want to try out. So if you just want to give, give a one-off game a go, then that's the mode you should play. In terms of squad customization, that's very important for FUT users. Uh, so we've added two key features here in terms of selecting who is your kick takers, who takes your free kick, who takes your corner kick, who is your captain even, that you can select now. Um, and the second one is selecting your kit numbers. So no more is an algorithm responsible for choosing what kit number you may want for your players. It's now all in your hands. What we did this year, uh, more than any year before, we actually went to the different territories and did play tests where we brought in some of the community. Uh, we just had our lead designers here two weeks ago in the UK and he did a, a big play test session with some of the, the biggest fans uh, in the London area. Um, we're trying to show them the build as fresh as possible. So the latest build we are building in Vancouver, we'll take them with us and show them the latest. So it's 50% done, 75% done, and then we focus them on specific areas. One of the main areas for us this year is the new chemistry styles, obviously. Every player will have a chemistry style, um, and the chemistry style will determine how the chemistry affects the player in terms of which attributes get affected and also by how much, depending on the level of the chemistry. So there's the, the, the six main FUD. Uh, attributes and all the chemistry styles affect uh, a combination of those. So either there is a uh, low boost for all of them or medium boost for three of them or really big boost for only two of them. So you always have to make an either or decision. Which chemistry style do you apply to your player in terms of which attributes get affected and by how much. So chemistry styles affect formations in a sense that you can actually mold your whole squad the way you want them to play. So if you prefer to play a, a full back attack pressing style, you can apply some offensive, uh, even attacker chemistry styles to your defenders and make them uh, come up the field and make their attacking attributes better. And then you can also make sure that uh, your wingers cover for them um, in terms of improving their defensive attributes. Last year we got a lot of good feedback around our new panel style design for our main hub. Um, so we have applied it to the most used screens in the game now in the second level. One of them is the transfer search screen. Uh, so now it's more visual and it's just uh, uh, goes easier to select the options and see what you're actually looking for. And then on top of that, because we always want to make sure that uh, our gamers, the FUT gamers, are very efficient in finding the specific content they want for their squads. So what we have done is we added a new function, search for name. So you just type, uh, start typing a name, we'll check the whole database for first name, last name or nickname of a player and then you press search and you find all the different versions of that player in one convenient view. I'm already really excited about the features I was able to talk to you about today, uh, but there's still more to come. So in terms of uh, the waiting period, end of August, I think August 20th to 25th is the Gamescom in Cologne and there will be many more exciting news about FUT14.